What's happening guys, it's Elite Phaser and today we are going to be playing episode 2 of Manager Mode. Now, there has been a problem. I'm two episodes behind. Why am I two episodes behind? Ahead. Two episodes ahead. Why am I two episodes ahead? Because episode 2 and episode 3 that I recorded got corrupted. Fantastic computer, brilliant computer, £1,000 worth of shit, basically. So basically, I'm going to show you and tell you what I've done. What's up guys, let's have a quick look at this team and we'll begin the game now. First of all, this team looks absolutely fucking amazing, if I say so myself. And we have De Gay, Raphael, Boateng, I played one game with him, he's absolutely brilliant. Brilliant defender, Vidic, everyone knows about Vidic, amazing player. And then we have Jordi Alba, amazing left back, brilliant by Nani, Kagawa, Fellaini, Valencia, all regular Man United players. Lewandowski, I haven't played with him yet, yet I want to. Brilliant statistics, brilliant potential. And then we have Van Persie. Now, Van Persie hasn't sold yet, so, you know, yeah, I, uh, I'm dreading it, so, you know. So, and we have Martinez. Now, Martinez is an 80, 22-year-old centre-back. 80 rated. Now, he has potential beyond a lot of centre-backs around, so... I bought him, he's going to be absolutely brilliant, he's going to be playing games, him and Vidic will be swapping around, Boatan will stay on, I want him to grow, him and Vidic will be swapping around, so that, you know, Vidic will get, Vidic can play, and he can play, Hernandez, Zaha and Butner will all be doing the same thing, they will all get switched around, and the rest of the team really, I don't actually give a damn about, but, that is my idea. I think I will end up keeping them because no one wants to for Zaha. I don't want Butner to go anywhere. Hernandez, I want to sell, but no one's no one's to buy him yet. Maybe in the summer window. But we have 11 million to spend, and I would I was wanting a new left mid, but there is no one at for 11 million at the minute. So might as well start a game. Let's get let's get let's get this game over and done with. It's Wigan. It's for the Community Shield. Sorry about that camera shake. I'm an idiot. So. Let's get into this. Guys, I hate the passing g skill challenge in this game. And I would hit that fucking thing, wouldn't I? It's typical me. And again, can't do it. Can't fucking do it. It's uh, it's unbelievable. R1X. It fucking worked. Jesus Christ, it actually fucking worked. Uh, it didn't work the second time, though. What's the point? Uh, wh what's the point? Right, so guys. Let's get on with this. Start with Van Persie. Do a little dribble. Do a little skill. Well, actually, not skill. Just pass it around like a lunatic. Now, this team's passing is absolutely... V I love it, to be honest. It's very nice passing. It's very good. You know, on the ball and that, we are very good. We make the challenges. We make the attacks. But the one thing I don't like about it is the fact that our... Um... Uh, our players stay offside a lot, and I don't like that. It's really irritating. I really do not like it. It's un, it's not enjoyable. And Wigan would, uh, to be honest, right? Wigan are not a bad side. They were unlucky. You can't blame them. Do you know what I mean? It's just, it's just how it is, right? So, you know, let's just get on with this game and let's see what how it ends. Here, Jesus Christ, I was shitting myself. The goalkeepers in this game are so dim-witted. He came out so late. It was unnecessary for him to come out that late. But he did anyway. What an idiot. Right? And Jesus, they are attacking very violently. They're actually in... It looks like they're actually in ultra-attack mode. Which is really fucking annoying. Because they pushed me back. And made me have to fucking... Defend so badly. Here we get the ball with Lewandowski. Let's see if Lewandowski can do something. Nope. Nanny is offside, I believe. I believe that was Nanny anyway. That could have been Van Persie. Uh, I don't know. There you go. Wigan with the attack. And Jesus Christ. Now they're attacking a lot. Valencia with the pace, though. Valencia. Oh, my God. He still has the fucking ball. It's unbelievable how Valencia still has the fucking ball. Yet... There you go, cross the end, and no, no, didn't work. Then we have Nani on the ball, let's see Nani, no, the idiot's offside, why is he always offside? It's typical him, to be honest, isn't it? Nani's attacking position is really poor, Van Persie is brilliant, but he gets caught offside a lot as well. But anyway, let's begin with the game. Fellaini's so powerful, he's such a tank, but he d I don't know why, he just feels weird to play with. 
Maybe it's because he's new to Man United and I'm not used to him, used to playing with him, you know what I mean? But, you know, let's get on with it anyway. And Jesus Christ, if they scored that, I would have fucking screamed. I would have fucking lost my mind. But, they didn't score that. Fantastic. So, let's get on with this. We need to win this fucking game. Let's be, let's be straightforward with each other. We need to win this fucking game. Because if Man United don't win the Community Shield... What hope do we have for fucking winning the league? We don't have hope, do we? To be honest, let's forget. Let's say that. Right. So, let's get on with this Wigan, Wigan Athletics. Now, uh, to be honest, right. While we while we're just playing this, you lot can see the game, but you lot can see the names. I don't need to tell you who's pl who's got the ball and who's shooting with the fucking ball. To be honest, right. But let let's put this into perspective, right. Wigan just got out of the Premier League, and what the fuck? I hate FIFA. I hate it. If anyone f that made FIFA is watching this, I hate you. You made a game that I dislike. Dickhead. So we can in the lead, and I what I was about to say to them is just not vo not valid anymore because I was going to say they're a pretty good team now. I don't like them because they're beating me, bitches. Right. But guys, let's be honest. Right. We have got Cardiff City in the Premier League now. Hull City, I believe it is. And, uh, what's the other one? Uh. <sighs> Sorry. I'm tired, man. It's like. It's like. It's almost 2 o'clock in the morning. Fuck off. And Van Persie with a beautiful goal. Jesus Christ, what a goal by Van Persie. you got to love Van Persie, man. He's such a tank. Not the quickest player in the world, but my God, he can really finish a fucking ball. Right, guys, we are 1-1. We can do this. Right. So, guys, I want you to ask a question, right? Like, today was the Manchester United and Cardiff game. Now, Man United took played pretty well in my perspective. I'm a Man United supporter guys, so you know, I'm not I'm gonna put my put my team before any other team in the world anyway, right? But in my eyes we played pretty well. We played a very strong game, right? But why is it just me? Or does every other Man United supporter feel that we don't look like the same team that we used to be? When was the last time we struggled against a team like Cardiff City? You know? Oh, sorry guys, I'm yawning. Yawn. Right, but when was the last time we struggled against a team like that? I actually don't remember a time when we struggled a team like, uh, like a... Uh, uh, against a team like Cardiff City. Right? But we did struggle today. It looked like we struggled a lot today. Wayne Rooney made some very poor decisions. I.e. the 90 minute, you know, the, uh, after they equalised with that fucking header. 90th minute which pissed me off so badly right but moving on like you know um Wayne Rooney doing a little back heel I think it was or a little flick to Welbeck trying to get him to dummy the like uh, tramp the ball into the back of the net didn't go off didn't pay off what a fucking awful thing I can't blame anything on Smolin for that shot from I think it was the corner I believe or a cross I think it was a corner if I'm honest right because he's not a striker. You don't expect Smalling to finish that, right? If it landed to someone like uh, Valencia or Nani or... Uh, you know what I mean? Like a top um, shooter of Man United, right? Then yes, I would expect that. But it didn't land to anyone decent. So it wasn't going to go into the back of the net. What I have a boat to pick with, right? Is why Rooney didn't score that fucking goal. Right? Like, I'm not blaming Rooney in general. I just think it was very bad very poor decision making and I'm really upset about that because Wayne Rooney is one of the best decision makers in the league and he just showed himself up I mean like that tackle at the beginning of the game I can understand why the ref didn't give the red card because it was I think it was about seven minutes into the game and he made a fucking tackle like that right so I can understand that I can respect that decision by the referee but what I don't understand is the fact when like he makes such a bad decision right and like his his tackle was a very very poor decision, right? And from there on in, right, because of that stupid yellow card, he had to play very safe football. He couldn't 
get into too many tussles with anyone. He couldn't really try barging anyone off the ball. Do you know what I mean? He had to play a very safe game of football because there was no Van Persie on the bench to save our asses. Right? So that gave a problem. And I don't understand why Van Persie wasn't on the bench or playing. I understand that. I think he played international during this week. I think it was this week or last week. But what I don't understand is I don't think he's injured. I haven't heard anything about an injury. If you guys have, please let me know. And here again, Wigan score. Fucking fantastic. It's 2-1 to them. I thought I was in the lead, but I wasn't. It's 2-1. I'm fucking trailing now. Fantastic game, you know. Fucking stupid game. But, you know, right, as I was saying, I don't understand how, why he done that stupid tackle. I mean, it was seven minutes into the game. It doesn't really matter. I can understand you getting frustrated. I'm sure it's seven minutes into the game. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys, because I think I am wrong. But... There you go, Lewandowski, debut goal. But back to the actual conversation, right? Why he made that silly tackle, I'll never understand. It was very early on in the game, he could have come back from that. I can understand him being frustrated because the player is holding you back. I can understand that. But the thing is, right, what I don't understand is why he had to take such a fucking harsh challenge. You could have barged the player. Uh, but no, he didn't want to. <sighs> Oh god, I'm going to end up yawning the episode away. But right, do you know what I mean? He didn't have to make that harsh challenge. And I actually do and actually do understand why people end up calling Man United the luckiest team in the world. Saying that about all this bullshit about Howard Webb, how he paid the referees and all this crap, right? Because referees give that type of decision. But it isn't up to us what they do. Right, it isn't up to us what they give. I can understand that. Even the commentator said that it's very understandable. It was the very beginning of the game, and if you give a red card straight there, he'd have to give a red card, yellow card for almost every single challenge made in that game, due to consistency. Because refs of these days have been well, in the old days, have been fucking put down because they're not consistent enough. And I can understand that. I can I can relate to that. I can understand the fact that consistency is the cause of a lot of people doubting the referees. Right? That's why people argue with him. Like Gerard forever arguing with the referee. Like uh, Wayne Mooney forever arguing with the referee. Van Persie, Carrick, Rio Ferdinand, Vidic. You know, the, them type of players are always arguing with the referee because they know they can get away with it because they're big names. Right? Now, what I don't understand is when someone like... Um, um, like say, if it was someone small name, say like uh, I'm thinking of a player. I uh, take Wigan's player for example, right? Watson, right? Watson, right there. I just seen his name, right? Now, if Watson made Rooney's tackle, right? I don't think the ref would have hesitated on giving him a red card, right? Why? Because Watson isn't a household name. Watson isn't a big name. Not many people rely on Watson, whereas Wayne Rooney, Manchester United, we rely on Wayne Rooney, right? England, we rely on Wayne Rooney, right? Wayne Rooney is a household name for us, and he is basically our little star. He is the star of our team, and I can understand that, right? But, come on guys, seriously, right? Give a fair decision, end of the day. I'm a Man United fan, right? I'm saying, that I'm going to get a lot of shit for this, I'm going to let... I'm going to get a lot of grief for this, right, for saying this, but Wayne Rooney deserved the red. If that was middle of the game, if it was a proper referee, right, if that was Champions League, right, that would have been a straight red light to that. The Champions League referees don't take shit. They don't listen to fucking crap, right? Premier League referees. Oh, yeah, you just shot someone. Yellow card. No, no, not good enough. You had to kill him to get a red card. You had to hack his legs off. You had to break every bone in his body to get a red card. Right now, I understand why Morales in yesterday's Liverpool vs Everton game didn't get a red card. Why Gerard didn't get a red card because they're big names, right? Belgium, they have Morales. He's a very big player in the Belgium squad. England have Steven Gerrard. Steven Gerrard is the literally the f- finest centre midfielder in the world, right? He has been for so many years. That is a guarantee. Any Dickhead can tell you that, right? No matter what Alex Ferguson said in his book, that's a regardless factor, right? Alex Ferguson said that because he doesn't like Liverpool. I don't like Liverpool. They're fucking idiots, right? But in my in my opinion, Liverpool are still a very strong team. I'm not going to take that away from a team that is a very strong team, right? But, end of the day, right, guys? What I don't understand, right, is fucking why, why are refs so retarded these days? 
They get people get yellow cards for the littlest challenges, right? But Wayne Rooney made a harsh challenge like that, didn't get a red card. Gerard elbowed um Barry in the head, didn't get a yellow card, right? A uh, red card even. He got I think he got a yellow card. I don't even think he got a card. I don't even think he got a card. Right? Morales stepped on stepped on Luis Suarez's leg, right? A lot of people are gonna say yes, Luis Suarez deserved it. Because he bit someone. Dude, he paid his dues, you know what I mean? He got his 10 match ban, he came back, and he's still the top goal scorer in this league. Second go top goal scorer in the league, right? And he's played less games than every other fucking striker. No one can cause Luis Suarez a bad striker. I'm a Man United fan, and I can't call Luis Suarez a bad striker. Daniel Sturridge, on the other hand, I, uh, I'm, debatable about, I'm debatable about him because I don't actually like Daniel Sturridge. Not anything personal. I mean, he look, he's a brilliant player. He's got brilliant talent, right? It's just... When I look for a striker, I want someone exciting. I want someone who does special stuff. Daniel Sturridge does not do special stuff. He, he like, I mean, he, some of his goals are absolutely fantastic. They're phenomenal goals, and not many strikers, even top strikers, would score them, right? But, like, I don't know. It's just, he doesn't excite me in a way that I want to watch Daniel Sturridge on YouTube. I want to type his name in, you know? But, guys... I think we're going to discuss this in the next episode as well because I'm very pissed off about the fact that the referees these games are just pathetic now. People can get away with murder and not even get a yellow card. You know what I mean? That's absolutely disgraceful. I don't agree with that. I think that's pathetic. Right? But guys, we just won that game 3-2 and it was a fantastic display. We played fucking appalling. We played terrible, but we were away from home, so we can we are allowed to counter attack a lot. Yes, I know this. <laughs> right, so guys, that well, we got a trophy. We got a trophy. It's called silverware. Why? Because we won the community shield. We're the community shield champions. Now aim for the Premier League. What a leap! What a leap! Right. Guys, I would like to thank you lot for watching this video. I would like to thank you lot for the 2,500 like uh, views on my last Manja Mode video. Please, let's go for this again. And guys, follow me, Twitter and everything like that. All, everything is in the description below. And I would like to thank you lot. And guys, I'll see you next episode. This is Mini Elite Phaser. Goodbye.